Okay, guys, today we're going to install our game lift plugin into our engine. Um, this isn't going to be just any game lift plugin. This is a specific plugin that's brand new on the marketplace. How you find it is by typing in AWS and it will pop up like this. Um, you might get one, you might get both. If you don't, click on the developer's name. I can't pronounce it, I'm not even gonna try. You click that there and you will get both of these and then you can purchase them and they are ones you have to buy. Um, Amazon has their own, I've already talked about it. It didn't go so well for me. Maybe it'll work for you, you can give it a shot. But when that fails, if it does, then you have these two options here. One is for client, one is for server. You're gonna have to have them both. Um, they were divided, he explained, I forget the exact reasoning, but you can read on his, um, he makes a statement as to why they're divided. Um, but anyway, uh, basically, you're gonna get these two plugins, and when you do, they'll show up down here in your vault. And to get this into the engine, it's a unique process, okay? Because what we're actually gonna do is we need to get it into a source version of the engine. But to get it into a source version of the engine, we need to install a normal version of the engine. So that way when we install it from here, from this screen, um, it's gonna go to that engine, it just does. You can't make it go to a source engine, at least I couldn't figure out how to. So basically you're gonna take it from a standard version, the plugin, and then you're gonna copy it and then paste it into your source version. Now, if you noticed, um, these plugins will only work on version 4.21 and so far in our tutorial series we've been working with 4.20 I believe I've been through a lot of transitions between now and then but either way um, you're more than likely gonna have to make a conversion if you're already in 421 you're not gonna have to convert into a source version but you're still gonna have to rebuild your engine because that's where these plugins are gonna be so um, I've already downloaded and installed my plugins. So how you will do that, um, first off, let me just slow down a little bit. Uh, make sure you've downloaded and installed a version of four, standard 421, okay? Make sure then you've also installed a source version from GitHub of 421. Okay, and I already went through a whole tutorial series about getting Unreal Engine to source. So you need to go back, find those videos. I'll link them if I remember, but there's a whole series on getting to source. And source is a special version of Unreal Engine that's full and has all these goodies that you can do like we're about to do. So you need to make sure you have both 421 source and for regular old 421 that you can get from the marketplace. Okay, does that make sense? I know some of you are going, why are you being so slow? But inevitably, there will be an issue. So I want to make sure it was clear. Anyway, you'll go install the engine on both these plugins. It says I've already um, been installed. Okay, so obviously I can't do that. But what I can do is I can bring up the engine as it will appear. And I don't know your exact directory of where it will be, but um, mine is right here. This is standard 421. I go into it after I've already installed my plugins. I go to, uh, let's see, engine, plugins, marketplace, and there they are. The game with client and the game with server. So I would click on this one, control click on this one so you have them both selected, control C to copy or right click copy, it doesn't matter. Um, and then you're gonna go over to your source version of 421. And here's my source version of 421 right here. Double click on that. Go to engine, plugins, and marketplace. And they're already in there. And that is because um, I already had done this in a previous video. But I have since updated my plugins. So what I am gonna do it's very dangerous, but I'm gonna take these out of here first. I'm gonna put them on my desktop. So I'm gonna take this out of here. You will not have them in yours already. 
So I'm just going to set them over here and I hope I won't break my engine. It's very possible that I could. I should have dragged them both at the same time. Okay, it copied them. So if that happens, control X to cut. And I'm just uh, making a new folder over here on my desktop. And control V to paste them in there and hopefully they'll disappear out of my source version. Okay, now they're gone. And I have them there just in case the old version was better than the new version. So I'm doing that. So this is how you should look, nice and empty. So I'm gonna take these, control click, control C, control Victor. All right, there they are, okay? So we've successfully taken, this is the old, or the standard 421. We're not gonna need it anymore. At least I don't think. So we can minimize that. We have our source version. I have to refer to my trusty whiteboard over here to see exactly um, what I gotta do. So now we have to rebuild the engine. Now, if you remember, um, back on, I'm going to go all the way up to 421. If you remember when we built our engine originally, go back to the source 421 page. There's a hand me read me file right there. And it talks about, um, what you do when you start up your engine for the first time to get these plugins to work in our engine, we pretty much have to do the same thing. Um, so we're going to run setup.bat. Okay. So let's find setup, setup.bat. Run that. Okay. And we're going to see what it does. And also when we get to long pauses like this, I may cut the video. So if all of a sudden you're like, mine took forever or yours took forever and it didn't seem that way. It's because I cut the video. So I'll try to fade it to make sense. Would you like to overwrite? So the following have been modified, uh, mobile device, whatever. Sure. And then we'll let it go through and see what it does. Okay. I ran generate project files dot, uh, bat or yeah. And it seemed like everything went well. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up my visual studio. And this is very similar to um, how we did our engine from source. So a lot of the same steps. And basically, anytime you're installing a plugin into the engine, you're going to have to do something similar to this. And, you know, it seems like source versions are much more fragile. So on the other monitor, I have Visual Studio loading up. So I'm trying to touch it as little as possible. But uh, there it goes. Okay, so it's going to initialize its projects, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a minute until the um, all of this fills up and it says ready. All right, I suggest you do the same. Okay, so my Visual Studio now says ready, so it's safe to proceed. Um, you can go ahead and put this guy into development editor. Win64 UE4, and if you want to know where I got that, just de development editor, Win64 UE4. Um, right click on the UE4 target and select build. So we go over to the UE4 target, right click and select build. Okay, this may take a while, so once again, I may cut the camera right about here. Okay, as you can see, my uh, build succeeded. Uh, zero failed and two up to date. So I'm hoping those two are my two files. So I'm going to make sure that I'm in the scope of the Visual Studio by clicking on the border or doing that. I didn't know that would do that, but uh, press F5 and that should run. Uh, and that'll start up your engine for the first time. Uh, there's other ways to start up your engine. I've showed in other videos and I'll probably show it again here. So that way, if you close out or whatever, you can get back into your engine.
but usually the first time I'll launch it like this. Um, and then remember once again, um, anytime engines start up for the first time, they usually take a little bit of time, but this one seems like it's going a little bit faster than normal. So we'll see what's going on. Okay. When your, uh, engine launches for the first time, it's going to come up here and be like, Hey, you got any, uh, projects you want me to open up? And I'm going to be like, of course I do. I want you to open up our old project. And so I'm going to type in tutorial. Um, and then tutorial, all these tutorial one projects. Now you might have one, depending on how many backups you might have two. before I made this video, I, um, selected a specific tutorial one that I was going to use and I put it in a special folder. So I just follow the path. This one's in drive F, uh, folder B and it's tutorial 26 start. Now I usually do these tutorials in a series, so this might be video 27, but it's the start of my, my 26. Okay. So. Uh, this is going to be the one I'm going to want to convert. Um, that's why it's grayed out, by the way, because I have no uh, projects in 421. You can see this one's in 420. So we're going to attempt a conversion by opening it right here. So I'm going to click open. Um, and it's going to say, hey, you know, this is a different version. Do you want to just change it right there? Do you want to make a copy? Obviously, you want to make a copy. Um, to protect yourself so it's attempting to make a copy most of the time this works this way sometimes there's some issues so um, it, it, anytime you're doing these conversions things can happen so we're just gonna sit and wait um, let us let it do its thing and uh, hopefully everything turns out all right okay so our project um, opened in 421 now so and i believe that's 421 source so it opened uh like this looks great and the very first thing that pops up says hey new plugins are available um you can either manage them there or i believe you can go to you got me thinking now because i always just clicked on that um how the heck do we get to our is it project settings uh, now I'm gonna be wondering I'm gonna show you the other way too hang on give me a second here there it is go to edit and plugins and that's another way you can get to your plugins folder I can't believe I forgot that so edit plugins and then these guys are gonna pop up right away um, otherwise you're gonna have to search form under installed um, you know, I've never really gone looking for them after I did this tutorial, but um, they'll be in there. So, it, and it should pop up just like this. Anyway, um, GameLift Client SDK, go ahead and enable that. And GameLift Server SDK, go ahead and enable that. Okay, and we can dismiss this little thing right here. Um, and it wants to restart right away, but what we want to do is not do that save it all it should have saved anyway um but we're going to shut down because we want to do um a few things i want to get a few steps in order um so let me go ahead and do that so let me file exit okay I'm gonna close this i'm going to shut down our engine so i'm going to file exit out of here I mean, it already technically was shut down. Um, we can minimize this for now. This is our engine. We should be good to go ahead and close this guy down. I'm just going to minimize it. And then I'm going to go hunting for my project folder, which I no longer see. So I'm going to go, go ahead and grab that. And it opened a mysterious window that I have no idea where it's at. I see it now. Okay. Now I gotta find that thing. Remember where I put it? I think I put it in F, B, and then tutorial 26 start. Remember that's what we were just talking about. So double click on here and you'll see that was our old one and it just made us a new one right here at 421. So we're gonna go into here and um, there are a few things that I wanna make sure we have. Let's see if it transferred over source. Okay. 
So now other folks that are following along that haven't been following along my um, with my tutorial series may not have this file here. And all this file is, is I did a copy of this file here, pasted, and then renamed it tutorial one server dot target. Actually, it's just your project name, server dot target dot CS in here. And then let me, um, you can edit it with C++ or no plus plus plus, but I don't want to confuse anybody. Let me just go to edit and see if it'll pop up. Yeah, it'll pop up just like a normal thing. Um, this is what we did in um, a previous tutorial, and it's so when we build our servers, they uh, come out correctly. So if you are just following this along, just trying to do uh, game lift and haven't been doing my tutorial series, you'll need to go ahead and copy this. And so it has right here wherever you see a comment is where you're going to have to put your project name so you'll put whatever your project name is right here ours is tutorial one and then it'll be server target target rules blah 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 and then right here again tutorial one server target blah 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 and then you'll put your name again right there okay so you'll need to create this if you're i would recommend pausing this right now i'll make it so it's as big as possible i don't know if that actually helped you um, so if you pause it now, you'll be able to copy that down. And there's stuff on making dedicated server guides on previous videos that'll actually show you on my on my series. It'll show you how to do that. But I wanted you to have reference. Okay, so that's what I wanted to check. I want to make sure that was there. And now I'm curious if the engine will actually just start up. There should be. Hang on, just a second. You should have to go into here and click this Generate Visual Studio Project Files. I believe that is something you will have to do. So click on this. Okay, and then try to open it. And we'll see if this activates everything. And it should come up saying, Hey, I want to build something. So we may have to backtrack just a little bit. Okay, let's let's see if that works. I'm I'm skeptical cuz usually that takes a lot longer to open. Um, let's go to blueprints game mode. Okay, and the first time it, it pops up it'll look like this. Open blueprint editor. It, it just flew over on the other screen. And let's just say like init. Okay, looky here, it did show up. I'm surprised. Usually it has to go through a huge long process of building something, which makes me think maybe in a later video we'll, we'll find out why that didn't happen. Um, but right here, here's, um, you can tell that the game lift server, it, at least it's recognizing the functions. Um, so there it is, um, init SDK. Um, and that is a game lift. And you saw it right there. It was part of a game lift. Uh, well, it's not going to let me call it again. But that's an official game lift one. They, that normally would not be there unless you had the plugin. Uh, game lift server, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to call that function. So at least we have something working right. We know it's registering that there's a plugin there. Uh, like I said, I have a tendency to believe there may be a, a little thing left to do. But I'm gonna pause the video right there, right here. I'm gonna double check and I'm gonna see if there's anything else missing. Well, of course, when you know it, when I uh, went to go check YouTube to make sure I didn't miss anything, um, which I usually do, I use YouTube all the time to check things, um, it wasn't working. So, hope it's, <laughs> hope it's working for you or else you wouldn't be watching this. Um, but we're going to go ahead and leave it right there for today. Uh, we know at least the um, we've converted our project to 421, 421 source, and at least it's seeing the plugin right now. So we'll see if we can actually get it to work in the next video. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.